So let's start solving reverse an array. Well, this question is one of the very basic questions of array. And if you're starting up with data structures or arrays in general, well, this question helps you to understand that how arrays are being manipulated. Okay, so pay attention to this question. Uh, let's give it a read. The question statement says, you are given an array of integer ARR. Okay, of integer, the name of the array is ARR. Your task is to reverse the given array and return array. Okay, so the question is quite simple. Now, what it is demanding you is that you would be given an array, you have to reverse it, and you have to return the reversed array. As simple as that. Let's just take a look at these sample test cases. Well, the first sample test case here is uh, the sequence 1, 4, 3, 2, 6, 5, which when reversed becomes 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 1, which is what we have to give as the output, right? Seeing the second example, it is the same. It says 4, 5, 1, 2, and which is when reversed, it becomes 2, 1, 5, 4. The task is very simple, right? Now, what could be the very first approach that comes to your mind? What could be the naive brute force method to it? Well, if we don't think much about optimality, we can take up an extra space, okay? And that is what uh, I'm going to doing. I'm going to be doing in this first approach. I'll take this extra temporary array, okay? And the temporary array is going to be of the same size of my actual array. So once this is made, what I was do is my my task here is to fill up this temporary array with the reversed sequence elements, okay? So if I have to do so what element should come at this position at the zeroth position of the temporary array well supposedly the last one right this five for ith or let's say sorry for this first element okay for this first element what element should come here this right now let's figure out the relation assuming that i am driving this loop with i okay so when i is zero that means i am filling up the zeroth position of temp what value do i need well, I need the last value, which is signified by n minus 1. Correct? Now, once I move ahead and I have to fill up the first value, the first index here, then what do I have to do? I have to do n minus 1. Well, I do have to perform one more minus 1 because now I'm referring to this sixth. Okay? This six, which is kept at the fourth, a fourth position. All right? Now, again, for this second element, n minus 1 minus 2 for third n minus 1 minus 3 i hope you got the sequence actually right it is n minus 1 minus the ith value okay so i just have to run through a loop and what do i have to do i have to simply keep on placing the values in temp with the formula temp i at the ith position of temp what do i need to fill arr n minus 1 minus i all right, so quite simple. Once the loop is executed and I have traversed through it, well, my array would be completely reversed like this. Now we need to analyze the complexity of it. Okay, now we are using this extra space here. And how much is this space? Well, it is actually depending upon the array. If my array is going to be bigger, I would be needing that long space, okay, that bigger space. So I can say it is directly related to my uh, array size, correct? So if I talk about the space complexity, then it is going to turn out to be order of n. Now coming on to time complexity. We are requiring only one iteration from this point till this, correct? To the, uh, like towards the length of the array. That means I am just requiring order of n of time for this question. But obviously this question must have some better solution because we are using some extra space which can be omitted. So if I have to think it in a way that I do not need, uh, like I don't want any space to be used, then for that, let's see the second approach. In this approach, what I would do is, I would take two, you can say pointers or two indices. I would be keeping the track of these two indices. First, I have named as left, which is kept at the zeroth position initially. Another is kept at the last position, okay? And it is named as right, fine what i would do is i would swap the values at these positions that means my left is here my right is here what i would do is i would swap these two values okay so let's say i swap these what will it become this position will be one this position will be sorry this uh, this one would uh, turn to be five and this five would become one simple swapping 
and after that once the work of these two are done that means the remaining unreversed array is this right we still need to reverse this array so for that i will move these two pointers in the respective directions the left is going to go plus 1 it will become here uh, it will be coming here and then the right would move one step back that means negative 1 right minus 1 and right would come at this point okay now once uh, like seeing the second uh, step here what will happen you can see the swapping is done and in this area i have to perform my swapping after swapping 4 and 6 i would be left with these two values to be swapped correct just uh, doing the same thing again moving my pointers and performing the swapping i would be left with this array okay now you can already see the work is done but how will the loop stop okay for that you need to see this condition well once your right comes on the left side of your left that means your left actually goes beyond right at this condition you can say okay we do not need to reverse the array anymore because the array is already reversed now okay so how far are we traversing in this example or in this approach we are only traversing halfway through the array and that's fixed you only have to traverse halfway and the other uh, steps would be taken care by the swapping that's all okay now how are we going to implement it let's see the code for it as i told you i have take i have taken two pointers left and right you can call it uh, indices as well i have placed that on the first and the last position right and then i have said okay till left is actually on the left side of right element of the right uh, position i have to keep on performing this swap simple and after this i have to move my left towards the right side or you can say towards the plus one side and my right towards the negative one side okay once this has executed completely your array would be reversed and you can return the array all right now coming on to how we can uh, write the same logic just with a uh, different approach you can say or slightly different variation okay you have already seen this thing before right in the previous one we can make use of it okay so i know the relation for the reverse element which is array of n minus i minus 1 right now instead of taking two pointers i would simply run a loop through my array and i would run it halfway okay that means if my array is of n length i am only running my loop till n my n by 2 till the half of it every time what am what am i doing i am performing the swap okay with the ith element and the ith element from the end once i do that the logic is same i'm just performing the swapping just the method uh, method is slightly different instead of using two different variables i am just making the use of one single variable and i'm using the relation of it quite simple right analyzing the complexity of it well are we taking any extra space here no right so that is the thing the space complexity is going to become order of one we are not using any extra space just the variables which don't count and if we talk about time how many iterations are we taking well exactly one single iteration so the time complexity here is order of n right let's quickly run this approach and see if it is passing all the test cases all right here is the same example that i've shown you let's try to compile it okay so the compilation is done and you can see it is giving us the expected output here let's try to submit that so also it is passing all the test cases so i hope you have understood this approach if you have any doubts then surely comment there and uh, just revisit the video once and i guess everything will be clear thank you